You are watching hashtag nerd swag. Yo, 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 what's up, comic book reading universe? It is I, your friendly neighborhood comic book collector, Steven Savelli, and I am here today to bring to you my comic book haul for comics that were released on March 4th, 2015. I have nine books to show off for you guys. Three are from Image Comics, six are from Marvel Comics, no DC, no IDW, no Dynamite, uh, just just those two today. So, um, before I get into my comic book call, just, just real quick, some public service announcements. Um, my 500 subscribers Q&A is now closed for submitting questions, so thanks everybody for watching and for those that submitted questions you'll get an extra entry into the 500 subs contest I will be working on a video this weekend uh, answering all your guys' questions it may take a little more time because some people have specific questions for Ashton and Alyssa and a few other people so um, I'm gonna have to collect videos from other people but it will be fun I promise and a part of that will be the contest where we're gonna give away some fun stuff um, don't forget if you like the video, subscribe, like, comment, all that busy stuff. I will be giving away a free digital copy to Hawkeye number one today, so make sure you stick around for that. If you want to skip ahead, there's timestamps down below in the description. And uh, at the end of my haul, I do my favorite cover and most anticipated title of the week. That was a lot of talking really fast, but I'm excited to get into this comic book haul because there's some outstanding comics I'm excited to show them off for you guys. Um, the first comic. If you, didn't, if you didn't buy it already, you need to go buy it that I want to show off, and that is Descender, issue number one. This is a book that is written by Jeff Lemire with art by Dustin Nguyen. Um, this is a new image comic. It's a number one. It's selling for $2.99. Um, I don't think it's an oversized issue, but it definitely is um, content-filled, and I'm very excited to, to read this book. Um, it's a sci-fi futuristic uh, story and the art on this by Dustin Nguyen just looks absolutely outstanding. Um, I'm very excited to read this comic. This this is one that's being highly reviewed. Um, I have read the first half of it. Uh, I didn't finish it last night. I got really tired but um, from what I read it's it's amazing and the reviews have been outstanding and the art is is astonishing. So I'm really excited that Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen are, are teamed up together because they're both um, great writers and artists. So Descender number one uh, looks really cool. Um, hopefully it's going to be a, a deep and character driven uh, story and that's what, what it looks like it's going to be. Uh, it won't be plot driven. It looks like it's going to be character driven. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for this number one issue from Image Comics. The next book I picked up is Saga, issue number 26. And if you've been watching for a while, you're like, what? Stephen bought Saga? What's up with this? You guys, I have finally, I have, I have them over here. You can almost see them. I have all the volumes of Saga. I have finally caught up. I read issue 25, and I'm fully caught up on Saga. So to Tim Morant, Justin Miller, and the plethora of you guys who have been like, how are you so into comics and you haven't read Saga? I caught up in... A matter of a month, I think. Two months. Uh, so, I'm fully caught up. I have issue number 26, and I'm excited to, to open this up um, and see where we go from here. This continues to be an epic story. Um, now that I have caught up, I'm right on board with everybody who said who has said it's one of the best comic books out, uh, especially in the last, like, ten years. Like, it is, it is a very well-written book. Um, so, written by Brian K. Vaughn with art by Fiona Staples. This will always be uh, a top poll now for me. So, thanks to everybody for the recommends. The last image book I got, I said I wasn't going to buy. And I said I was going to take it off my poll because I... I don't want to say I hated the first issue. Well, I'll say I didn't enjoy the first issue. That's Nameless. Issue number... T this is issue number two. This is written by Grant Morrison. Um, this showed up in my poll list, even though I, I'm pretty sure I took it off. But I was like, you know what? Let's do it. Let's buy Nameless number two. I'll give it a second chance. Uh, if I don't like it, it will for sure be canceled. Uh, but why not? Let's try it. Two ninety nine plus, you know, my discount on my comic shop. So it's it's not too out of pocket for me to 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 try to give it a second chance. I think Grant Morrison has earned that. Can we all say Grant Grant Morrison has earned a second chance on a book uh, for a second issue? Let me know if you actually liked the first issue. I haven't come across anybody that did. So if you are one that did, go ahead and leave a comment down below and. Please tell me how silly I am for not liking issue number one, but that's nameless. Uh, it does have cool art, um, but yeah, yeah. 
Anyway. Alright, let's pop into some of my Marvel comics. And the first comic I got from Marvel is Angela. Uh, this is uh, Asgard's the Assassin. This is issue number four. It's written by Kieran Gillen. Um, this, to me, is still a pretty fun book to read. Uh, there's something about the art style, uh, at least in the first three issues, that I really liked. It looks like this is a different artist. Um, that makes me sad. I just The cover is the same artist. Um, who, who did the cover here? Oh, man, see? No, it's not the same artist. I lied. Same colorist. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Angela Asgard's Assassin has been okay. Uh, I've liked what I've read so far, but um, this is one that might not make it... Uh, might not make it very much longer, and uh, especially after Secret Wars happens, this title, I'm not sure even if they're doing solicitations for it after that, so, uh, yeah, I got this book, and it is what it is. Alright, the next issue I got is Hawkeye, issue number one. This is written by Jeff Lemire, and you're like, Jeff Lemire? Who's that? That sounds very familiar. Well, he was the, he wrote the first comic guy I have from a hall. Descender. So he's got a creator own book. He's got a new book, new number one of Hawkeye coming out. And this cover is pretty sweet. I hear people complaining about it that it's boring, but uh, it's different and it's cool and it's uh, artistic. And anyway, we won't get into all that, but this is a really cool cover. I'm excited for Hawkeye number one. You know, I never jumped on the Hawkeye train. Uh, so this new number one reset, which probably isn't a reset, it's just like they're starting a new story arc and they have it at number one. I, I haven't been too big into Hawkeye, the character at all, and, you know, the last one won a bunch of awards, and I still didn't care. So, <laughs> I'm going to try this. Uh, if you're someone like me who didn't read the the last big run of Hawkeye and you're jumping on this, you let me know. Uh, we could be Hawkeye buddies together, late to the party. But I'm going to give away the free digital code here, um, and what that is, is like... Uh, you can just go on your iPad or computer or iPhone or Android device or whatever, and you could. I'll send you this comic for free. You can read it, the whole thing. So, all I'm gonna ask for is who is the full creative team on Hawkeye number one. First person to comment that down below, I'll send you a free digital code. And what I'm looking for is the writer, the inker, and the colorist. So, uh, first person to do that, boom, you'll get a free digital copy. I do want to show off just a portion of this book real quick, just to get you excited for it. Let's see here. Well, here's the first splash page. It looks crazy. Um, that looked really cool on a phone with high contrast. Anyway, that's Hawkeye issue number one. I already spent a lot of time on that. Boom. All right, next issue is Rocket Raccoon, issue number nine, nine, yeah, by Scotty Young. Uh, this continues to be a really fun book and brings levity to my life, and I really enjoy reading Rocket when it comes out. Um, what's cool about this story is this jumps to 2046. Yep. This jumps to 2046 where Groot and Rocket and everybody are old. Um, there's, a, there's Old Man Rocket is in this comic. Look at this guy right here. That's Old Man Rocket. Isn't that just the coolest? Uh, Old Man Rock, it's kind of like a one-shot from the future. You know what? I'm going to give a free digital code for this, too. Why not? It's, you don't need to know the continuity of Rocket right now. So, if you can tell me, uh, hmm, hmm, if you just let me know what's your favorite Scotty Young variant cover, uh, I'll pick somebody by, by the end of the day. Uh, on Friday. By the end of Friday, I'll pick somebody who chose a favorite Scotty Young cover, and I'll give you this free digital comic as well. This is, dude, this is, <laughs> oh man, this is so fun. Look at Groot. We got Groot in the future tearing up the city. I'm telling you guys, if you're not reading Rocket, it's just so incredibly fun. Um, I'm excited for this book and looking forward to reading it. Um, well, I did read it. I don't know why I said that. Alright, the next issue I got is highly anticipated, and this is Spider-Woman, issue number five. Why this is highly anticipated is, look, Spider-Woman has a new costume. They had, they had to say it up here in the corner, in case you didn't know. New costume, new status quo. What's great about this Spider-Woman issue um, is we're finally not stuck in the Spider-Verse. Um, all the Spider-Woman issues so far, number one through four, have been a Spider-Verse tie-in. So now we're not in the Spider-Verse tie-in and we are just back to normal, um, like, storytelling. Uh, Dennis Hopeless is writing this book, but I want to I wanna talk about Javier Rodriguez here. And Javier Rodriguez is doing the um, 
He's drawing and inking the book, so he's the actual artist, and he's also the colorist for this book. What a lot of people don't know when they're fresh to comics is there's a difference between a colorist and the inker or drawer, right? They're, they're usually different people. Javier Rodriguez is somebody that usually does both. So in this book, he's doing the pencils and the colors. And he, he surprised me by his work on Daredevil uh, a few months back, and I really like how clean his art is. Um, and, uh, anyway, he's on this book, so I just want to give a shout out to him, even though he's never going to watch this video, but he's a great, he's a great, um, artist, and I feel like we don't, we don't talk about them enough. They almost make the book just as much as the writer does, and sometimes they make the book more than the writer, so. Javier Rodriguez, I'm stoked that he's, that he's a part of Spider-Woman now, and her new costume is really cool. I am, I'm not even going to front. I really like it. Uh, I thought it looked weird by the cover, but I'm, I'm digging it. So, that's Spider-Woman, issue number five. It's really issue number one. The other four were a tie-in. Like, it wasn't even, yeah, it wasn't even her story. Okay, next issue is for sure an issue number one, and that is Star Wars, Princess Leia, issue number one. This is written by Mark Wade, one of my favorite writers, writes Daredevil, one of the best books on the shelves. Um, the pencils are by Terry Dodson, inks by Rachel Dodson, and colors by Jordi Belair. That's weird, Jordi Belair. Also was a colorist um, for uh, Daredevil a few times and was on Moon Knight uh, back in the 2013 run, I think. And Moon Knight was one of my favorite books uh, in the last five years. Uh, at least that run with... with uh, Bel Air and Declan Shelby. Anyway, we don't need to talk about that. Let's talk about Princess Leia. Uh, I'm not too interested in this book. I got it because, well, it's a Princess Leia number one, which is cool. Uh, the second part is I like Mark Wade a lot. Um, the problem is I'm not a Princess Leia fan. Her character like doesn't do anything for me at all. So I'll read this. Um, if Mark Wade can t tie me into this book, then I'll keep reading it. But um, I don't have high hopes for this. That's all I'm going to say. And the last book I picked up this week is Avengers. Issue number, what are we on now? We're like 40-something. 40 42. Written by Jonathan Hickman. Uh, we're counting down to Secret Wars, which is going to be... Look at this cover. It's like you can't even see who's who and what's what. Um, we're counting down to Secret Wars. And that's going to change the whole Marvel Universe. Uh, Marvel comic book universe, at least. And uh, Jonathan Hickman is the writer for Secret Wars. He's the one that planned it, and this is his main book, which is Avengers. So if you're interested in Secret Wars, you should be reading Avengers. The story's so convoluted, I can't even start to explain what's happening in these books. Um, he's been telling a story for over two years with this and New Avengers, and uh, Secret Avengers now um, is, is tying into um, the Secret Wars. So... Uh, I, I'm excited for Avengers because we're leading up to Secret Wars, but it's also like we're always we're always jumping in different points in time. We don't like, yeah. Anyways, there's lots of people I don't even. I would consider myself a pretty well versed uh, comic book fan, and even for me, when I'm reading these books, I'm like, who, what, who is that? I don't understand. Who is this? I have to go on like Marvel's Wikipedia and like find people, pull out my Marvel encyclopedia, and I'm like, I it's it's hard. That's all I'm saying. Jonathan Hickman, he's definitely going deep into the archives of characters uh, and just making people up, too. So that's my last comic book I picked up this week. I do want to say, I'm going to show the back cover to this because almost every single one of these comics uh, has this on the back, which is the Uncanny in Humans number zero uh, promo. Uh, Deafening Secrets Revealed in April 2015. This is the only reason I want to point this out is because it's written by Charles Soule and art by Steve McNiven. They're the ones that did the Death of Wolverine uh, miniseries. So we all know who Charles Soule is like one of the best writers out right now. Uh, so I, I'll probably be picking up this. The Inhumans are very intriguing to me and I really like Black Bolt's character. Um, when I read Infinity, I really, really started digging him. And the new Avengers. Uh, Jonathan Hickman writes him very well. Um, okay, let's get into my cover of the week and my most anticipated title of the week. Um, I'm sad that Saga is just a plain back cover, so Saga doesn't win. Uh, <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo. Let's do my cover of the week first. I think... Hmm. This is... I, I totally had this decided before I started uh, my comic book haul. But now that I've re-looked at them all like 20 times. If I was just to go on plain art... And artistic value and 
Mm, mm, I'm gonna do this one. Uh, this is Angela Asgard's Assassin. I'll have this be my cover of the week. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. It's really cool. Anyway, there we go. Autofocus. Uh, I'll have this be the cover of the week. Leave down below in the comments what comments. What is your cover of the week? And my most anticipated title of the week is actually Descender. I'm very excited for this new Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nguyen book. Um, and I, I'm really looking forward to uh, this journey I'm about to take with Descender. This looks like one, what I've read so far, it's going to be one that I'm going to stick on with for a long time. Uh, so I'm very, very pumped. Anyway. That's my cover of the week, my most anticipated title of the week, my comic book haul. Thank you for watching. If you stuck around to the end, I think this is a longer video than normal, and I really appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, this weekend, I will, I'm trying to plan a new Nerd Swag Nerd Chat, uh, but I'm having trouble lining up guests, so if you want to join me for a Nerd Chat, uh, shoot me a message or a comment or find me on Twitter down here, at Savelli Nerd Swag, uh, or wherever it is on the screen. Um, and Hit me up. Uh, I'm looking for guests for a nerd chat. Also, I'm doing a cool nerd swag grab. I picked up some sweet comics on eBay, and I'm definitely going to show them off to you guys. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great time reading your comics. Hopefully, there's a comic I showed that you weren't thinking about getting that you're going to get now, because that's kind of the whole point. Uh, I'm not just here to show off my collection. I'm trying to help new readers. And, uh, yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks for everything. Have a great week, guys. Peace.